Good afternoon and welcome to today's game between the Greater Lawrence Reddies and the Lynn Tech Tigers. I'm New Reto. Pretty action here today. All fight up here at the field house. Lynn Tech is in home right. The Reggies are in the road orange. Starting lineup for the Tigers. And we are rocking over here. It's an early morning, but we are still rocking. Stolen, stolen by Devine. Puts it up off the glass. Rolls out. And out of bounds, last touch on the Tigers. Starting lineup is Aliyah Valquez, uh, Angie Bingham, Devine and Bukde, uh, Amy Diaz, and Elibet Rodriguez. For the Reggies, starting lineup is Erlis Valquez, Jada Flores, Brenna Croto, Dana Cabrera, and Jassy Lopez. Tech Tigers. Um, the boys team come off a very emotional win last night and uh, really putting themselves in good position to win the CAC. Good to see a lot of the boys here supporting, uh, supporting the girls, which is awesome, and vice versa. A lot of times we see the girls basketball team supporting the boys, which is really cool. Off the glass and in. First two points by the Reggies by number 24, Cabrera. Playing his own defense. Bingham puts it up. No good. Offensive board. Yes! Counting in the foul. Leah's going to try to complete the three-point play. Four eight-minute quarters here. And Ali will be at the line for a free throw to try to complete the three-point play. We have a lot of guests joining us throughout the whole broadcast. We have some of the basketball players for the boys team joining us. Talk about yesterday's game and just talk about in general about their season, which is awesome. Right now, 11-2. It looks like, well, it looks like it is. In fact, they are going to the playoffs. Let's hope they can host the game here. Bingham off the glass and in. Big bad Bingham. Five to two. Stifling defense. Stolen again by Devine. Devine coast to coast. Can't get the layup. Offensive board by Leah. Devine's got to take her time, use the glass to her advantage. Number 10 comes to the game for the Tigers, Allison Morales. Devine takes a seat. Bingham in the paint. Bingham puts it up, no good. Fighting for the board. Diaz rips it away. Same team, here's Morales. Morales got foul, no foul is called. Elbow jumper rattles in and out. Ripped away by Diaz, goes out of bounds. Last touch on the Tigers. Puts it up and in. Cabrera with all four points so far for the Reggies. Launches. Booyah! C the three, B the three. It's one with the three. Three-point party, everyone's invited. Eight to four. Crowd's rocking here today. Crowd's rocking. Stolen. Diaz out to Aaliyah. Kicking off the glass. Offensive board. Diaz fighting for the board again. And it's going to be a traveling violation. 5.07 left in the first quarter. Angie, that's you. 
Going coast to coast. No offensive board. Cabrera again. All six points belong to Cabrera. Danny Cabrera six, then Tech Tigers eight. Number 24, Isabella Wilcock will come to the game. Good cutoff right there by Allison. Eight to six, Tigers up by two. And it looks like we got timeout here. Timeout here for the Tigers. Eight to six, Tigers are on a battle right now. Looked to have a few of the basketball players that are going to join us here in the second and, and third quarter and the fourth quarter. So we're excited about that. Head coach Wax is doing a great job with this program. Had a chance to meet her father. Very, very awesome person. I mean, old family's great. Does a good job keeping stats. Caitlin's father for the game as well, so kudos to him. 4.32 left. Hey, in the first quarter, eight to six. Stolen again, but not before a foul. That was on the Reggies, looks like, no. Who's that foul? No, foul's on the Tigers. Down baseline, puts it in for two right there. Snazzy play by Vasquez. Vasquez, excuse me. Here's a Leah bounce pass in the inside. Rodriguez can't handle it. Diving for the ball. It's going to be a jump ball. Possession now is towards the Reggies. All tied up at 80 over here. Four minutes left in the first quarter. Launches for three, just off the mark. Stolen again, that's your third steal, diving. Can't control possession though, great hustle. Excellent hustle by Devon right there. Push off right there for the Reggie so Tigers get the ball back. Coach Wexler was a little confused about the call, but nonetheless, they get the ball right back. Defense, 
Allison takes a spill in trouble. It's going to be another jump ball. Possession towards Tigers. Thought about the three. Here's Divine. Puts it up. No. Great defense by Leah. Divine almost at the steal. Gets the steal. What's the call? No jump ball. Possession out is towards the Reggies. Launches straight away three note. First shot clock. Bingham wheeling, dealing off the glass. No. And Tigers will keep possession. Number three inbound will come to the game, excuse me, for the Reggies. Quick three, no. And traveling violation, double dribble. Bingham spinning in traffic. Off the glass and in. What a move by Bingham. Nope. Is Allison. Bingham loses the ball. Tries to take it right back. That's going to be a traveling violation. Oh, brother. 10 to 8, Tigers up by two here with a minute 50 left in the first. Ten to eight here. One twenty five left. Call. 
coach of the Reggies is having a little intense conversation with the with the referee. One minute left. Ten to eight. And puts it in, Conan and the foul. So after one here, 12 to eight, Tigers up. Hey, listen, this is a tough battle right here. This wasn't going to be an easy game coming in. This was going to be a tough battle. And the, and the Tigers are ready to rock and roll over here, but they got to continue to keep playing strong. And, uh, you know, li listen, you know, it's an early game. I think it might be a little difficult just to kind of get your energy up. But this is what it's all about here. And it's, it's really about, you know, staying focused and, and being able to play through different, um, you know, just through different environments. So 12 to 8 here, beginning of the second quarter. Look down, some guests joining us here throughout the whole broadcast. A couple of the basketball players are going to be joining us soon. Leo with the floater. No good offensive board, no. Ripped away by Isabella. It's being swarmed by a sea of orange.
Goes to Coast, puts it up. Behind the backboard. There's a little too much mustard on that one. Bingham, and it's going to be a foul on the Reggies. Loses the ball, ripped away. Off the glass, gets fouled, be lined for two free throws. 7-17 left in the second quarter. Two free throws here. First one is good. <laughs> Offensive ball puts it in. Count it and the foul. This team's not going away. Devon comes back into the game along with Allison. I'm oh, sorry, Devon will replace Allison. Check that. Second free throw is good. Rodriguez in trouble. Rips the ball away. And it's going to be a jump ball. Possession out towards the Tigers. Goes out of bounds. Good hustle by the Reggies. Tackled at the goal line. First down. Looks like a football play. If you guys missed, I'll be giving out my predictions for the Super Bowl. And we got this is a timeout. We got a timeout called over here. So 12 to 12 here, all tied up in the second quarter.
12 up here, seven minutes left exactly in the second quarter. Loses her dribble, taken back. Here come the Tigers. Got away to travel. No, nope, did it. Intercepted by Bingham. Here's Bingham right down Main Street. Yes. and 12. Tigers coming out. A little more defensive paralysis, right? A little de defensive intensity, excuse me. Six minutes left. Almost another steal. Yeah, it's going to be a foul on Bingham. Tigers turn up the volume defensively, which is resulting in easy points. Little floater, back iron. Here's Devon. She has numbers and she pushes it. Devon. Out to Isabella. And goes out of bounds. Last touch on, let's see here. Last touch on the Reggies. Tigers will keep the ball with 5.43 left in the second quarter. It's a board device gonna make that. Just gotta work on making those close buckets. Done a great job defensively, Divine. Great job to rebound. Just gotta not have a softer touch. Putting the ball in the hoop. Puts it up. It's going to be a double dribble. Ripped away. And it's going to be a foul. Foul on the veggies. One more and they're going to be in the penalty, both teams.
Launches for three. No. Can't get me on the kick it on the offensive board. That was Wilcock. Couldn't finish. It's going to be a traveling violation. Four and change left in the first half. Divine gets fouled up the line for two free throws. This is the first free throw. No. Unforced turnover right there by the Veggies. And Tigers will get the ball. Aaliyah, no. Divine with the board. And she got fouled. It's coming over the back. One-on-one -on -one situation makes the first off the glass. And traveling violation. 17 to 12. Lynn Tech versus Greater Lawrence Regis. This is actually a makeup game from last Friday that was canceled because of snow. But a crossover. Just couldn't finish though. Nice baseball pass. Can't finish. Divine wide open the other side. Aaliyah's got to look up. Yeah, turnover. Jumper, no. Seventeen to twelve. Both teams really struggling here offensively. Again, I think it's their early start. Eleven o'clock start. Eleven in the morning. Just adjusting to your atmosphere and adjusting to your environment. That is difficult. Straight away three. No. Divine offensive board. Up fakes. Puts it up. And rebounded by the Reggies. Take a spill though. 
And it's going to be Tiger's ball. This is a three. Nice bounce pass. Off the glass, no. Devine with another board, a rebounding pellet. Divine loses the ball. On the inside, wide open through the layup. And yeah, traveling violation. I don't think the Reggies have scored this quarter. The Tigers haven't done so hot themselves. I mean, I think they only scored five points. Little floater, puts it in. Nice shot right there by Leah, 19 to 12. And puts it in. Diaz having a tough time today in the paint. Great job to rebound just offensively. Offensively, everyone's not there really. 120 left in the first half. Nice hands by Leah. Takes it away. Bingham with the board. And it's going to be a jump ball. Taking right back, Helter Skelter. No one really getting rhythm here. Launches, puts in the three, on target. Seventeen to nineteen, two point game. Jumper, no good. In the inside, Aaliyah puts it up. Ah, oh, can't put it off the glass. Right there. Stolen by Bingham. Bingham puts it in, puts a halt to this mess. And that's your halftime score right there. 21 to 17, back and forth game. We got ourselves a barn burner here at the field house. We'll be back in the second half.
And welcome back. Second half action. Third quarter. I'm New Rancho. 21 to 17 here. You guys, grab a seat here. Some special guests joining us. Wow, amongst amongst greatness right now. I, sh I should ask for your autographs or something. <laughs> this is a big deal. We're here with uh, Brandon and Juan. Um, listen, hell of a game yesterday. Oh yeah. Um, talk about. Let's first talk about yesterday, and we'll talk about this game. 21-17. Tigers up by four. It's Diaz. Diaz to Divine puts it off the glass. 23-17. Yesterday's game, Brandon. Um, that, that was got to be a cool feeling, man. Yeah, I saw you guys in the locker room, you know, having a good time celebrating. Just yeah. talk about what it means, um, you know, to, to really, you know, go back in the playoffs for the first time, I think in like four years or something like that. I mean, when, since you've been like, when, last time they're in the playoffs, you're probably like in, in the elementary school. Crazy. Uh, yesterday, a great feeling, you know, good game. Played hard, played uh, tough. At the end, we got the dub. And, yeah. Talk about, um, well, I'm talking about, you know, listen, there were some times in the game where, you know, you know, I, I think people say, you know, there's a ch chance the Tigers are going to lose. Yeah, yeah. You know, especially going to overtime when they, when they made that three. I'm like, you know, these, these guys might lose the game. How do you mentally climb out of that and, say, and stay positive and, and continue to play and eventually you guys win the game? How do you stay positive in that, in that atmosphere? It's just thinking about the way we put in in the summer, uh, off season. We all put a lot of work in, coming in like – like, we come in 10 o'clock, we put on that work, just thinking about that. And uh, being mentally prepared, having those moments, it was a very emotional game. And we were ready for it, you know. Uh, last year, uh, I, I remember they were talking, uh, it was very hard, uh, they lost a lot of games and shit. Mm -hmm. But now, we're back, we're back. Better than ever. Absolutely. Yeah. I know Jaden was a part of the team last year. Um, but a lot, a lot of new players are here you know, this year. So um, a lot of new players this year, so they didn't see, you know, um, you know, kind of what was going on, but Jaden was one of the players, yeah. Edric as well. So, you know, I'm, I'm really happy for them. Let's talk about this game right here. You know, the whole team's here supporting the girls. Why is that so important? And I see the girls supporting you guys at, at the game over in Saugus the other day. Why is it so important to kind of support each other for, for uh, sporting events like this? Uh, we're all in this together. We're all a Tiger family, you know? Uh, Tiger pride, we go all the way. So they're always there for us. We're, we're always going to be there for them. So we just have to have our backs and everything like that. Brandon, what did the Tigers need to do in this game to uh, get this victory? Communicate a lot, uh, rebound, get the ball to the basket. And yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, I know we didn't mention it yesterday, but it, did, it does seem to be mentioned. And uh, we'll have him on in the fourth quarter. But did anyone talk about when I blocked Andy twice? Did he refer to that? Okay. He didn't, he didn't mention anything. We were playing basketball the other day, and I blocked him twice. <laughs> okay, I blocked him. This 34-year-old man blocked him twice. So I just want to put that out there to everybody. Yeah. Okay. Um, I still got it. Still got it. I yeah. still got it. I blocked him twice, <laughs> um, and everyone's talking about it. But you had a hell of a game. I mean, yeah. your backcourt's great. I mean, yeah. Andy and Gio, you guys, um, you know, you guys are all young, you know, freshmen, sophomores. I don't think there's one scene in the team, right? No. None. Not one scene in the team. So, listen, I joke around, but you guys are um, – you guys are really representing what the school and what Lynn Tech's all about. So I'm, I'm super proud of you guys. And listen, this ride's not over yet. Looking forward for the playoffs. Yeah. And uh, hopefully make a deep run. Either way, I'm proud of you guys. Get those two bozos to come down. Uh, Jaden and Andy, if they have a chance. Yeah, of course. Right. Any final thoughts you want to say before you guys get out of here? Uh, no. This, I just want to say this is just the beginning. You know, uh, this is just a start. And it's going to be an amazing four years because we're all freshmen, me, uh, Brandon, uh, um, Andy, all of us. Gio. Yep. Yep. Can't forget about him. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Listen, it's going to be a very fun four years. Yeah. I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for now. Hell. Yeah. I'm not excited. I'm excited for now, for today, right now. The present. Absolutely. So, um, listen, I'm going to see you guys next game. We're going to be here. And um, if you want to get those two other bozos to come and join us, you're, you're welcome to do so. For sure. All right, all right. guys.
All right, we're live right now. We are live on YouTube. Introduce yourselves. Who do we have on the broadcast here? Well, watch out, man. That, that's an expensive microphone. They almost knocked himself out. Introduce yourselves. Who do we have here on the broadcast? We're on, we're on live right now. I'm Gia. I play Varsity for Tech. I'm Keith. Listen, man. Hell of a game yesterday. Yeah. Hell of a game yesterday. Talk about it, man. Uh, we're just talking to Brandon and Juan and how uh, fired up everyone was. Um, just talk about what it, what it meant to, to play a packed house and, uh, and get that big victory. The crowd was a big factor in that game. Good overtime. We played good in overtime. Andy really came in clutch. Right, right, right. With all the threes, good passing. We all played together as a team, and we closed it out on Essex Tech. Now, you know, it's crazy, because I don't even think you had, like, a really great game yesterday. Mm -hmm. I but, have a great game. But, 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 but that's what a winner is all about, right? Yep. Even when you don't have a great game, still find a way to, to make an game. impact. And that's what you did, yep. which is more impressive than having a good game, mm -hmm. you know, um, which, which is really cool. So I love about you guys. Um, listen, just, just talk about playing a team, man, and what yesterday meant to you. Um, go ahead. Keith. Can you repeat your question? Yeah, we'll just talk about what, what, what yesterday meant to you guys. It was a good win. We played as a team. And a lot of kids played great yesterday. Absolutely, absolutely. So, listen, we want to make a deep playoff run. So, the first start is um, getting into the playoffs. So, you guys um, you guys won. Was it, what, was it, what was the team on Thursday? What, what were they called? Um, Pioneer. Pioneer, Pioneer. Yeah. So, that was your first um, official um, playoff, I guess, entrance, if you will, because you guys won that game. Talk about what does it mean to be back in the playoffs. It's been last time you guys were in the playoffs. You guys are probably in elementary school. Yeah. Talk about what, what does that mean to you guys? So making it to the playoffs and putting Tech back on the map was the, really the goal of the year. That's what CB told us. Put, we came to put Tech back on the map, and that's what we did. Make it to playoffs. Now we just got to make a run. Twenty-five to seventeen, Tigers up by eight here. What do you see in this game? Uh, what the Tigers need to do to to get the victory? They need to close out on defense. Angie's playing a really good game right now. They're all playing together as a team, playing great defense, hustling. There's a turnover right there. 521 left. Tigers up by eight. Any final things you want to say to our viewers? We're on live. We got about 1.5 million people watching. Thank you to all you guys for coming into Sportland Tech. And we won because of you guys yesterday. All right. Well, listen. Listen, you're giving us something to cheer about, so we're excited. And we'll, we'll see you guys next game. All right. All Thank right. you. Five oh eight left, twenty eight to seventeen. Another steal by Leah. Three-point shot right there. They're going to call it three. It was a three-point shot. Our foot was on the line, but they caught that as a three. Timeout call. Tigers are rolling right now. This is what I'm talking about. Tigers are back, rocking and rolling. Seventeen to thirty-one, Tigers opening up this game here, really stepping up. And we're talking about that you know Tigers are a better team than this and what they showed in the first half, and they're definitely showing it. Second half dominating, thirty-one to seventeen. Shout out to the crew doing a great job. Sheamus and Pa doing a good job, guys, rocking and rolling. I'm just saying you guys are doing a good job. Right. Seamus is in the house. Pa's in the house. So if you're a big basketball fan, this week was a big week. They announced the starters for the NBA All-Star Game. 
And uh, Jason Tatum was named the starter for the um, East All-Stars, which is really cool. I, I would like to think that uh, – I would like to think that Jalen Brown again as a reserve. He should have been a starter, frankly, along with Tatum. So the all-star starters for the East are Giannis, Jason Tatum. Kyrie Irving should not be a starter. Kevin Durant or Donovan. Actually, Kevin Durant shouldn't be a starter as well. Kevin Durant hasn't played any games. He's played games, but hasn't played enough in, in, my, in, my, in my thoughts. And, and Kyrie Irving as well. I mean, they haven't played much. Donovan Mitchell, I think that's, that's valid. So Giannis, Jason Tatum, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and Donovan Mitchell. Puts it up off the glass. And it's going to be two shots right here. Jumper is good. And Leah's had a heck of a ball game so far. 4.31 left in the third quarter. 31 to 19. Yeah. Alice at the board. Launches for three. No. Rodriguez fighting for the boys coming in. Jump ball. Crowd get into the game. Here's Diaz with the steal. Nice outlet pass to Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Offensive board by Bingham. And Bingham takes a spill. And she's going to be in line for two free throws. No, not uh, Dunk Dallas Dorney at the shooting. Can't make the three. Puts it up. What a hook shot right there. Jabbar, Jabbar. 32-21.
Nice pass, Allison. Great baseball pass. Puts it in. Cool, calm, controlled. Calculated. Confidence. Puts it up, no. Rebounded, another rebound by Bingham. I'm gonna keep that jump shot. A little off the mark though, but it was in rhythm. Offensive board! Get out of my way, get out of my way! Here comes Morales! <laughs> 38 to 21, Tigers up by 17. 240 left in the third quarter. And it's a one on one. So Tigers under the penalty now, so. So Lawrence is in, in the penalty, so from here on in, Lawrence is going to be shooting free throws for the rest of the half. And we're at 225 left in the third quarter. Nice defense right there by Leah. In the inside in the paint, puts it up. No good. Offensive board. Puts it up. No. Here's Angie. But a crossover. Puts it up, gets fouled. Two free throws here. Second free throw's good. 18 point game, 39 21. Nice pass in the inside, off the glass, and in. Vasquez.
Diaz stops her dribble. In trouble now. Got to wait to travel. Launches. Same team. Diaz at the board. Puts it up. And puts it in. Strong move by Diaz. play. Just couldn't finish though. Vasquez got to make that outlet pass. And it's going to be a turnover here for the Tigers. Put on a little press here. Almost gets a steal. Off the glass and in. Bug was out of bounds. Eleven point four seconds left. Sixteen point game. Tigers up here. Launches for three. Yes. Boom shakalaka. Proto with the three. Thirteen point game. Could have been a lot worse for the Reggies here, but you know they they battled back here and they're giving themselves a shot. I'm drawing with the head coach. Head coach of the Tigers boys basketball team, Corey Bingham. Corey, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Oh, man, what a hell of a game yesterday. Yes, great one. Great one to win. Great one for the team. Just all around, we needed it. Uh, you know, the fight, the hunger, the dedication, the guys is they're on a different page right now. It's a good thing. Absolutely. Score 41 28. Tigers up here by 13. Begin the fourth quarter here. Head coach Corey Bingham uh, for the boys' basketball team. Talk about um, just the process of uh, changing the culture and, of, of back to winning. Because it's, it's been a while. And, and, and talk about just, just staying focused and doing that. Because it, it can't be easy. We haven't made the playoffs. COVID obviously we missed two years. Yep. And then the year coming back was, was a tough year. Yeah. You, know, um, you know, we all knew it was going to be a kind of a rebuilding year. Back to this year. Just that, talk about that process of, of getting that buy-in from everybody. Um, you know, you know, you can't go nowhere what I was saying about last year. You know, uh, we had a lot of seniors. And then we had some bright spots. We had Jaden. We had C's. Mm -hmm. And we had Edric the Tank. So coming into the season, you know, after the season, I, I said to myself, you know, what – what do we need to make us better, you know? And I had to hit the, you know, Lynn City. You know, I end up being blessed to get Gio and, uh, and Andy. And Andy, yep. So, you know, they was, the, you know, the first layers of the, you know, the foundation, the guards, you know. Uh, well, I wouldn't even say they was the second because we got uh, three juniors. Absolutely, so yep. They was the foundation. Then you bring in, you know, the uh, young guys, and they just bring it all together. And, you know, the biggest thing for me, you know, was the off season this year. You know, last year I didn't really get a chance. You know, I'm not saying we didn't have, but we didn't have no fall league, summer league, you know, first right. year. So 
coming in this year, those are a couple of things we had to change, the fall league, summer league, you know, workouts. So just to get them, you know, the um, camaraderie with each other. Right, right. So we started that early, you know, um, captain's practice. Jaden and Edric was taking the guys to the uh, Lynn Beach working out. So it was just all around them just, you know, not just basketball things, you know, just everything, you know, uh, cookouts. You know, we went away to Maine. So just the little things, just trying to build the foundation of them off the court and then that translate, I would say, to on the court. Right. It's crazy. You know, you say that. It's a lot like teaching, you know, where it's like, yes. you know, before you even teach the material, you know, before I teach TV or whatever, you know, the other teachers teach, you know, the big thing is making sure that the class gets along first and, yes. that, you know, we got good culture. So, That's right. That's you know, right. Which, is, which is huge. So it's so similar. You know, um, I, I say teaching coaching and preaching yeah <laughs> all three yeah. of those things are very they, similar in terms of like are. you know working with different people um girls basketball team you know which is going to be really cool i think both teams should well your team is officially called for the playoffs yeah. the girls should be qualified in the playoffs i think it's only a matter of time, time yeah so both teams are back in the playoffs what do you see um with with the girls team right now and, and um you know this season and again just kind of being consistent last year um you know they had an excellent season made the playoffs this year they made the playoffs what are you seeing from the um, from the girls that you like and things we need to continue doing into the playoffs? Um, first thing first, Caitlin's doing a great job. You know, she she gets these girls to play hard. And um, the most important thing I, I want to say about both teams, you know, right. is we all coming back. So right, right. everybody's young, so she just to get the young girls out there and, you know, to get and you used know to the And you know someone on the team, right? Yes. My daughter's <laughs> out there. She's, she's doing all right. She, yeah, right. she should be doing better, but she's doing all right. You know, uh, happy to have her here, happy for her to be happy, you know. Absolutely. And, you know, that's what it's all about is, you know, bringing that winning tradition back to the Tigers, you know. And I, I feel like she can help them out with that, too. And Aaliyah's tough, too. She's good. And it's really cool is that, um, you, know, I, you know, a lot of Lynn teams are, are, are playing well. I mean, I know yes. your old team, English, is dominating. They're yes, undefeated, they are. I believe. Yes, they are. It's, it's a good, it's a good um, season right now for Lynn overall. Even, you know, St. Mary's is doing good, you know. So that's but I do good. have to put that. They lost to my Broughton Boxes. So oh, yes, they did. I just did. have to yes, put it out did. there. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Rep your town, yeah. baby. I ain't mad at you. Hey, yeah, listen, I got that's, two homes. Broughton yes. and Lynn. Those are my two hey, homes. Hey, it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong. I feel the same way. I'm, I feel like Lynn and Boston is my two homes. Right, so right. can't be mad at that. But the girls is playing hard, and Coach Kalen is doing a great job with that. Absolutely. So, listen, looking for, you know, a, a playoff run. And, and, you know, those exciting just to, you know, you know, hopefully we can, you know, capture the conference and, and, and make a run in the playoffs. But nonetheless, I think the season, uh, I don't want to be satisfied, but I think the season, you could say, was a success. Yes, with more, yes, you know? for sure, for sure. And like you said, we're not satisfied, right. but we also are happy with what we accomplished. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Appreciate the now. Sure. And we, we, got, we got to keep it going. We ain't, you know, we're Tigers. Tigers don't get uh, full fast. We yeah. got to stay hungry and, you know, stay on them because if we don't, you know how there's going to be somebody coming up our tail. Absolutely. We, you know, the, the team has no seniors. You know, the girls will, will have three seniors yes. here. So, um, you know, the future looks bright. The and well, one bright. thing, too, is you know, we got to uh, congratulate you on what you do, man. I appreciate oh, you. No doubt, man. You, you're definitely the best in the business, for sure. YouTube views on what? 1.1 yeah, trillion? 1. 1, yeah, easily. Uh, oh, easily. yes. <laughs> I, I see it. I see it. I see it. You, you, you turn it up, man. And, Everybody loves it. I'm just, you know, just happy to have, you know. We got a great team. We yes. got a great group of kids. Then we got uh, the number one score table in the state. Yeah, so, you know, it, but but I, I was saying this. Um, I was telling this to someone, one of my friends. You know, it, it's, it's. I think we feed off each other. Yes, that's right. That's, you know what I'm saying? So yes. we bring the best out of each other. Yes, you know, right. everybody. That's you right. know, so uh -huh. the crew needs to be strong because the team's strong. That's right. And vice versa. <laughs> that's right. You know, so, yes, you know, school boys right. strong. We all got to be strong. You know, we are, we are, you know, putting pressure, good pressure on each other. You know, yes. which, which is a good yes. thing. 40, it's, it's the team way over here at the Tigers. Team way. 45-31. Tigers up by 14 with uh, 5.48 left. So Tigers up to... Get their ninth victory. Yes, that's one more, and they clinch. We need one more. We need this one. We, you know, five minutes left. We should be able to put them away. Um, how, how's the old team doing? I know you guys are undefeated. Talk about um their season. I, I know you, you know, I still have connections over there in English. Oh, the the dogs are rolling, yep. man. Mm -hmm. One thing about Coach Al is he's gonna he's gonna coach them guys up. They got some talent, but he's one of the most underrated coaches I've been around, man. He's like uh. 
a stream league basketball mind. So, yes, they got the talent, but they got one of the best coaches, I would say, in the business, too. He knows his, he knows his X and O's. He knows the game from in and out. And it was just a pleasure to be around him and Antonio, Jarrell, Ryan Woon, Dina. It was like, you know, it was like almost an all-star staff. And, you know, it's a good feeling. I just try to bring that same energy, same environment over here. Now, talk about, actually, I didn't ask you this question. I was curious what you thought about it. Is Bingham going to the bucket, counting in the foul. Big bad Bingham, get out of my way, get out of my way. 16-point game. The last game at the Garden, when you guys played, when you're over in English. Yes. Did you guys know there was not going to be an, another game? Because those are the rumblings around the arena when I was there. I, um, and first, how did you feel about the season almost like stopping and never really yeah, completely finishing? I feel like, you know, um, we could have. We, I feel like we could have uh, ended the season. We only had one game right, left, right, so right. I don't. And we could have did it just like we did the following year with no fans. Right. But um, honestly, me personally, you know, I'm biased. But I, I thought we was gonna win that game by 20 plus. It didn't matter who we was playing, right. where we was playing, what the circumstances was. So you know, that's you know, it's that's a bad feeling for you know, because they had some seniors. You know, we had some seniors. So not to go out, you know, on you know, like at the championship, even though they gave us the championship, but just not to end the way you wanted to is a tough situation. But, you know, we still were state champions, so you can't be mad at that. And we, nobody in the world was ready for no court. Absolutely. You know, I, like I said before, I thought we'd be gone for two weeks and we'd be back. Yeah. I thought everyone thought that. So. And I didn't, honestly, to answer your question, I don't think um, we had an idea that they was going to cancel the game because we didn't find out until, like, you know, next two days we had practice, and that's when they told us it wasn't going to happen. So go after the game, we was thinking we was going to go to the championship. Right, right, right. Absolutely. I mean, that was, uh, that, you know, but I, I, I've always felt the Garden game was is like the championship. Champ yes, I've always felt you. the championship should be at the Garden. Yes, man. Me, I had the lucky feeling to, you know, play at the Garden three times in high school, so. It was like the championship. Now, what to year me. did you play at the Garden in high school? What year was that? Was that 2008? I, uh, two, I played in the Garden 2002, 2003 season. Okay. Um, 2000 and what? We had to skip a year. I mean, skip a year in between to my junior and senior right. year. So, senior year was 2005. So, 2003, 2004, too. So. Fleecing is one of the best uh, feelings you can have as a kid. Absolutely. Just going there, then you get in the locker that the Celtics players get to sit at. It's like, it's so unreal. So hopefully they can get that feeling back. But I see sometimes they have regular season games there. I did see that. I thought Worcester was playing. A, a couple of prep schools were playing last yeah, Saturday. Yes, I seen the little prep school showcase. I definitely seen that. So Me, personally, I, I got to see what's going on. Can we get one game over there? I'm not sure if they're doing the, <laughs> the championship game. I'm sorry. At least Eastern Mass championship. I know the they brought the Eastern, I mean the championship back to the Garden. I, I thought they moved to it. Worcester, to Worcester. To Okay. I, think it was. I thought it was that or UMass Low. I've always felt um, you know, hopefully it can change. But you know, it's, it's, yes. it's just such a thrill for the players. I mean, especially now that they, you know, we got the tournament feel. It should right. be at the, you know, Flea Center. You know, that's the end that every kid wants to, you know, walk off at the fleece and on top. Listen, I can't play ball, you know, for my life depending on it. Now, I've I seen you I over there. You got some moves. I've you know seen you over there just working out. Listen, you my, got something. My best game was in the fifth grade YMCA. I had eight points, eight rebounds. <laughs> Solid, though, man. I was unstoppable. 48-32. Oh, but one of the best uh, moments I had was announcing at the Garden. That was a dream come true of mine oh, in 2008. Okay. Ironically, we lost in Lynn English. Okay. The two, the, uh, those, uh, we're undefeated. What's that, Brockton? Brockton's undefeated. Okay. They met Lynn English yes, in 2008. Yes, Ryan Woon and them boys, right? There was a player from Lynn English that scored 42 points. Yes, Ryan Woon, Ryan Woon, right? He shot the ball. Was that the fleece? It was, right? yeah, it was, it was an and overtime. And he shot the ball on, his ground, on the ground, yes, right? Yes, in, in yes, overtime. Yes. Mr. Woon, the game. that's my guy, man. Ryan Woon, the Lynn legend. Yes. yes. I definitely, it's, it's, all, it's like therapy for me right now. It's all coming out. It's all coming out. You yes. know, all, it's all coming out. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. But nah, that was a good English team. Actually, Coach Bingham, uh, my little brother, played on that team. Okay. Yep. Uh huh. He was on that English team. That's for sure. So there's nothing better than than I tell. I keep telling one. There's nothing better than high school playoff basketball. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. And I play at all the levels. High school basketball is just it's different. You got you got to want it. 48, 32, 440 left. Here at head coach Corey Bingham is Aaliyah. 
Kick it off the glass. Amy off the board! I choose violence! Puts it in! I love me some Amy, no. Tough, tough yes. player. Tough player, man. Knows the game, makes good passes, rebounds, defense. What doesn't Amy do? And coming back from that injury, yes. you know, yes. that, that, that was big. Yes, it was. You yes, know, it was. it's not easy coming back from ACL, um, you know, and, 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 and having a good season. I, I felt so terrible for her last year, but one saw when she was a junior and she was able to, I had a chance to finish off. Amy again, uh -huh. offensive board. Divine, cleaning it up. Uh, good rebound. Leah trying to get a layup. She got uh, I tell you what, Divine is a rebounding machine. machine. Yes, She's got to work on a softer touch. Yes, and, and I like number 10 too. I, I love I Allison. Like yes, I love Allison. She, she, she plays so hard. And that's what you want. You just want them to play hard. Everything else you can pretty much teach them. If they're playing hard, that's the easy part. Four minutes left. Tigers up by 18. Another three. Yes! Three-point party. Everyone's invited. 53-32. And Tigers, that's pretty much the dagger right there. Up by 21. I it's got to like be a cool feeling for you. I feel like you. the girl number four going to need a little bit of work. She, get, she need to work a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, that's got to be a good feeling for you, man. I yeah. mean, you know, yes, you played is, on man. this court. Yes. Then, a, you know, how many years later? Yes, it's a, it's, I tell you, Noob, it's an unreal feeling, man. I tell you, just watching her play and, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. I, you know, sometimes, you know, you see the athletes and you hear them say, you know, words can't um, describe it. And then, you you know, feelings like this come. So now you know what they say, you know how they feel. We got a lot of work to do, though. No saddest. Don't be satisfied, right? Exactly. But you know, the good thing is, listen, <laughs> we're, we're sophomore year, right? Yes. Yes, right. Listen, you, know, you never know. Maybe, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see <laughs> another thousand up Yo, there. You never know. Whoa. We got we to see fully, how that works I, I fully out. expect that next couple of years for a couple uh, players. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, for sure. For sure. For sure. Fully, fully expect that. Yes. Yes. We, we got to try to bring something else home, too, man. We got to try to get us a ring over here. Some, uh, what's it called? Um, so when the students come to get out of school, pep rally. Pep or rally. Yep. We need a prep rally. Okay. I couldn't get the words out. Yes, we, we can need work a, on we that. We need that. You know, we got to win to get that. You know, yep, tournament. You. Get to you know deep in the tournament. But that's what we got to bring back. I tell you what. I mean, it's, it it brings a whole different feeling to the school when you when your sports teams are doing well. Yes, it does. It you does. Know. Prison on the swagger, everyone's involved, and it, it's it's coming back, you know. Yeah, so we seen that yesterday. We had a, a nice student session. Right. You know, and the other sports too, I thought, you know, Coach Runner does a good job oh, with the football yes, team. Yes, for sure. Runner's that guy, man. Runner is the guy over here. Runner's the guy. And That's, track is doing very well. Yes, so. yes, it is. And we can't forget about our, our excellent 80s, Joe and Grace over Oh, man. yeah. The best in some, the building. Some of the best. best in the business. Definitely. 20 point game here. Two and change left. Tigers looking to one more game away from the tournament berth, huh? Both teams with a double bonus. So we're not sure. Can the Tigers host a game? And can you, can you guys host a game? Is that a possibility? What state championship? In terms of yeah, in terms yes, of hosting as a game. of right now, we are. The okay. top sixteen, top sixteen teams get a home game. So Excellent. as of right now, yes sir, we getting us a home game. As of right now, we keep winning. We might get two. Listen, so, as long, I've been here for eight years, never had a playoff home game, which is going to be really cool. This yes. place is neat. I'm, oh. Listen, the, the viewers right watching right now on YouTube, I'm calling you guys out. Yes. We yes. need this place packed, packed in the playoffs. Yes, we do. Yes, and we do. on the road. More on the road, too. We need the support on the road, too. So both packed home and in on the road. On the road, yes. For sure. For big sure. game versus Saga's coming up, right? Yes, Monday. Monday's a big one. No, we've played Friday, get a little break. Back at it on um, Monday. It's no, it's no days off. No days off. Then we have uh, MP coming up soon. Um, yes, yes. With, with my man, Coach Wilson. Oh, man, the of mine. legend. The legend, Mr. Wilson, man. It's, it was just a pleasure being in his presence. Did he have the maroon suit on? Ah, uh, no, no. no. He, 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 <laughs> his son was there, too. Okay, you know, yeah. His son was there. Um, yeah, now nah, he wasn't dressed up to the T. Maybe he might come to Lynn dressed up. For sure, for sure, but uh, my man, Mr. Wilson, was, he's a great guy, man. He's a, uh, 
Over 400 wins. Yes, and you know he, he he's a teacher, like right. you said, like you said, a teacher. Almost we would say a preacher, right? Yeah. Uh, so you know he always got kind words every time I seen him, and this is from when I was little. You know what? I, I used to travel to Boston to play. So and he used to be there at Madison Park, same place. And it's just crazy to say it. You know, I was like probably one of the only Lynn guys to play in BNBL, but okay. Nobody, I mean, if, nobody knew that. If you're a basketball guy, there's a couple of things you gotta know. Yes. Imagine you gotta know, you gotta know Coach Wilson. Yes. You gotta know Danny Ventura. That's right. The the, the reporter. Uh, you gotta know Coach Willie. That's right. Coach Willie may be in BL. And th th there's a couple others. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm forgetting, but those I mean, huge in terms of basketball, in, mm -hmm. in this for area. Sure. Oh, for sure, for sure. You're not lying about that. Two free throws here for. The two free throws, or is it? Oh, double ball is two free throws off the glass. Divine. 56 34. So I got to get your um, your feedback. NBA All Star starters came out Tatum, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, Giannis, and um, Donovan Mitchell. Any uh, any snubs on that starting line? Was who people should be out, people should be in. Me personally, man. Oh. Me personally, I don't feel like there's no snubs. I mean, first of all, the fans, the fans pick it. So how can it be a snub if the fans pick it mm -hmm. in? Second of all, to be an All Star is just, you know, a great thing and all. You right, know right. What I mean, some, you know, just like anything, somebody's gonna get snubbed. You're going for a job interview, somebody ain't gonna get the job. Right. So, I mean, that's just how I feel about. It. I think those are the best players in the East right now. Two free throws right here. Uh, besides Jalen Brown. I thought Jalen Brown yes, should I, yes. I thought Jalen Brown yes, yeah. should have replaced Kevin Durant. Yeah. I don't think Kevin Durant is is played enough. Yes, yes, yeah. For sure, for sure. It'd be funny to see. Is you think he's gonna come back for the um all-star game? Probably oh. not. Yeah. I mean like, it's next week. Yeah, so I wouldn't. So somebody hopefully Tatum does I mean Jalen Brown does take his spot because he ain't gonna be there. So that's probably something they're gonna have to work out. So I gotta do my math here. How about the West? Well, I ain't even seen. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the West. What's the West looking like? Let me look up right now. Let me Le we know down. we know LeBron, right? That's a given. We know Joker, right? That's yep. a given. Luca, that's a given. Steph Curry, so that's four. Who's you got fifth? four? Zion Williamson. Oh, Zion. I could see that. Yeah, yeah. It's a, that that West. One thing about the West team is, a, I want to say that's the most popular team, man. <laughs> I tell you, I mean, I can't, I can't even knock any of those right now. I can't knock anything. Yeah. I mean, Zion maybe, but I mean, but Zion, I mean, that's a, they're a good team. That's actually an underrated team. Yes. So Bingham stacking up the numbers over here, up by 23. So they were, it was a, I gotta do the math here. Tigers have turned it up in the third and fourth quarter. I get the halftime score because, I mean, the Tigers they were tied. Or well, check that two point game. It was 19. To 17 after the first half. So since then, quick math. Well, 25 0 run? Tigers have, what's that? Was that 58 points minus 19? So Tigers have scored 39 points in the second half. That's a as lot opposed of to Reggie's 16 points. They've outscored them 39, those are unofficial numbers. 39 to 16 in the second half. I mean, that, that's clamped down defense. That, yes. That's coaching. That's attitude. That's wanting it. Hunger. That's one thing about it. After this whistle, number 12, Amy will come to the game. And number 14, Camilla. Camilla will come to the game. And number 44, Daniela. I'll come in. Aaliyah takes a seat. Bingham takes a seat. Divine takes a seat. Much needed rest. Good game by all three of them. Yes, yes. Great game by all three of them. Definitely number four. She need a little bit more work. <laughs> she gonna watch this and come after you. Think. <laughs> 136 left. It's a good game. Good game. Tigers is rolling on both sides. I think it was a slow stop because I, I think this, you know, we're creatures of habit. I mean, yes. even for me, you know, yes. of, of games starting around 536. Uh-huh. And then how late the game was yesterday. yesterday yes, to get so. here to come back and do it again. That's why I say you're the best in the business, man. 
You get here this early to do it all over again? I, I got injured yesterday, and I don't know how I did it. I hurt my back. I'm like, how am I hurt my back sitting down here? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Yo, man, you know, it, man, foul. Come on, let's pick it up. Lay that up. To the oh. bucket. Leslie. You know, she's so young, but I really like her game and her attitude. Camilla? Uh, yes. Yes, me too. I seen Camilla in elementary, man, and woo. I mean, elementary basketball is different, but boy, oh boy, she was scoring some points, I'll tell you that. She was like a microwave. <laughs> so, you know, she's young. Next year, she's going to be ready, though. Absolutely. She'll be ready to go next year. Elementary championships on March 25th. Yes. We're going to try to cover that. Yes. Coming up a minute left. Oh. Simone got into the game. I didn't even see her coming to the game. Simone's in the game. Try to get a couple points here. Daniela on the inside. Puts it up. Offensive board. No good. So once again, I want to shout out our crew doing a great job. Power on camera. Seamus doing a great job on the graphics. Excellent, excellent job. We got the best camera crew in the business. Best in the business. Come up on 30 seconds left. Tigers will win comfortably here. So, Coach, as we wind down, I want to thank you for joining us. Anytime, man. It's a pleasure, you know, just being here with you and you being with us. Like I told you, man, I appreciate everything you do, no man. And since I first came here, man, you opened me with uh, open arms, and I appreciate you for that. No doubt. Anytime, man. Listen, you're doing a great job. You know, you represent what Lynn Tech's all about, what Lynn's all about. Yes, sir. You know, That's so right. and, and, and you're raising the stakes up, you know, Got for it. everybody. That's and, right. And, and, and we appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank all right, you coach, so much. Appreciate yes, you, brother. Tiger Pride. All right. That was head coach Corey Bingham joining us here in the fourth quarter. 58 to 36. Seventeen seconds left. Puts it off the glass. No. And let's see if they'll try to get one last shot. Five seconds left. Four. Puts it in. Fifty-eight. Are they gonna count that? Fifty-eight to thirty-six. Tigers. Fifty-eight, thirty-six, final score. Tigers, dominating victory, dominating second half. You know, I, re I read the Tigers are rocking and rolling right now. And again, it starts and ends with defense, and then that's what they did. Played a great defensive game in the second half, and the scores are the result of it. So, fifty-eight to thirty-six for everybody at the field house. I'm New Barat Tone. I want to thank all our guests for joining us today. I don't want to talk anymore. You don't want to hear me no more. Goodbye. <laughs>